all state hub locker there's very little information that's on the net about it if anything all you're going to find is some still pictures there's nothing as far as publications torque values or anything like that it's just a basic hub locker Keep in mind, this is a Sears and Roebuck product, and Sears and Roebuck disestablished from each other in roughly 1980s. So I'm putting this somewhere between 1965 all the way up to the 1980s of when it was manufactured. It's a basic, simple hub locker. As you can see, just turns on its hub. The hub is off of an M38A1 Army Jeep that I'm restoring right now. And it's got its normal two positions, disengaged or engaged, where you can see it works like that. This one's already been pulled apart. It's already been degreased just for the ease of the illustration of disassembling it. I've already removed all the six bolts minus the other two. We'll go ahead and pull those off. Once that's done, we'll just go ahead and pull the locker aside itself and lay it down. The hub itself, if it's your application as well, it has two of these two and a quarter inch uh, six sided nuts. The first one's the same as the second one, but they are, they do have a space in between for a washer. First washer itself does have a detent, which you can see right here, which separates it from the second washer. Then you have a second nut. Which, like I said before, is pretty much identical to the first one. So if you get them backwards, it's no big whoop. The second retaining washer, which also has a detent in it. Except for this one. Just has that. And there's no popped up detent for it. That's the only thing that separates the front from the back, other than the dimensions of the size. Then your bearing would separate, obviously, from it. Like I said, it's absent of grease because I've already gone through and cleaned this just to make the video a little bit easier to understand. Once that's done, the pump can come off. Let's get over to breaking it down. Alright, let's go and start breaking this one down. Like I said, this has already been tore apart before, so the spring's already been loosened. Uh, with anything, right here is obviously where you're going to pry up the spring. Uh, this one was so corroded, I, I couldn't even see this when I first did it. So I'm just going to kind of cheat a little bit. See if I can get up in there where it was already pried. Oh, already judges. Went ahead and reset it. Oh, look at that. The benefits of cheating. Once you pretty much got it up, you can almost just twist it right out. 
Obviously, be careful that you don't bend it. The cap should come straight up. This one here still got the uh, still got the seal on it, which that can also take off. Lay that aside right along with the cap. Of course, you can see how these here engage the paw levers, which engage or disengage it from the spline. The back, eh, for me, it's always been a little bit tricky. If it doesn't go flying somewhere. There it goes. Look at that. Winner, winner. Once that's done, it's simple as just putting your fingers up on the bottom of it and just pushing it straight up. And you can remove that, set it aside. The paw levers are held inside by this bearing down here. You just take that, flip it over and push it straight up. And pull that out. Obviously inspect that to make sure it hasn't been worn too much. Once those are out, you can pull the paws out. And you probably won't notice it. And you may have it or you may not have it. But there are some grooves from just general wear that are on these. That's probably the easiest way to remember how to assemble it back together. Once you're done with that, just reach inside and grab these little springs. Of course, they orient upright once you go back for re reassembly and that in itself is everything for disassembly once it's all done just go ahead and put it back together in reverse order what type of lube you want to use, that's pretty much entirely up to you. I have my own preference. How much to lube. Uh, reading up on other lockers, it says uh, use a generous amount. Some say be very liberal with it. Me, just kind of halfway in between. Don't overdo it. Uh, the other thing to note, separating it from the hub itself, when this was pulled off, there was no gasket. I highly encourage there is a gasket for the M38's hub or the Willie's hub. I highly encourage you to put a gasket back upon it just to keep any water or other contaminants out. But other than that, from a locked up locker that almost did not want to move, this is it once it's pretty much been cleaned up and disassembled. Pretty much comprises 15 separate parts and six bolts in addition. And that's pretty much it.